Sitting in the living room of your Paris estate, looking over the photo of the new target, for some reason, the council of killers in your family thought this hero would be a thorn in your side. To your own observation, this hero looked the opposite of what the council had described in the meeting. Taking a few minutes to think and clear your thoughts, looking at the ceiling of black marble until the closed door of the living room was opened. Looks like you're conflicted. That's not like you. Smiling at your longtime companion that was always close by and like usual observant. However, they had worn the scarf from your first meeting and first assignment together. You're right, my friend. This should be handled quickly. I'll make sure things are packed. I can tell this will be a long trip. Quickly turning around and walking to the closet, you then see all the luggage cases and bags fall around your companion. It was a normal everyday thing, but they still looked at you nervously like you would be upset. Standing up from where you had been sitting, walking over to them, Lightly, you pat their head. We can leave for the assignment later. Just don't overwork yourself. That's not fair! You know all the faults and weaknesses of my quirk! I do, my friend. But I have faults and weaknesses, too. Hearing your words and one secret that no one knew, but could not believe them. To your companion, they could not see the weaknesses and faults you had, only ever saw how cool you were and your kindness to others. Ingenium was away on an assignment and had been thrown across the city street. Having been at his limit, there was no way to stop crashing into the side of a building. I can't prevent this from happening. I'll help you, Ingenium. Sorry for being late. Expecting to go unconscious from the impact, however, the opposite happened. Instead, Ingenium was caught in the arms of a past old friend from his childhood. Barely seeing the black and white armor, Ingenium thought it was a dream. Passing out, carefully you laid Ingenium down in the safest place of a secluded street. Now that Ingenium was safe, it was time to take care of the villain that was trying to kill your target. The Nomu that was in front of you was destroyed with one punch and kick to the head. Your companion was watching over Ingenium, then proceeded to the final step, which was making the Nomu vanish. Make sure to adjust the Nomu to its full potential, please. As you wish, boss. What do we do now? We wait and keep pretending to be heroes. For one second, it looked like Ingenium recognized you? Secretly, we have a past. That's all I'm saying. Looking at your friend, it was clear as day that they loved Ingenium deeply and didn't know each other. The way they were so close to Ingenium, even more how their voice had changed just a little. Feeling the rain on your hero gear. You only hoped your boss wouldn't lose themselves. Standing in the same place as the rain became heavier, you said almost quietly, My friend, you're a villain. Don't leave the dark side for Ingenium. Seriously, why that guy? Ingenium woke up in the hospital, didn't expect to feel someone hold his hand, especially not his friend. It had been years since Ingenium seen his friend but remembered the tattoos around their left eye and on their hand, even more their midnight blue hair that could put the night sky to shame. Seeing this was no illusion or dream, Ingenium held their hand a little more in his as he smiled. Star Knight, once again you saved me. I can't believe you're back and safe. I know, Ingenium. I could have stayed in the darkness, but could never abandon you when I needed. Not able to hold back, 
You kissed in Jenny's forehead, just happy that he was all right. Now tears stained your face. Till and Jenny, I'm seeing you cry for him after so long. Meant you loved him still. To know your feelings and to be with you again, and Jenny I'm could never ask for more. Seeing with your own eyes what the council had predicted, what would happen, that's when you made the call to the council. Your prediction was correct. I'll proceed with the next step. Don't disappoint us. It's the only way to save him from this hero. Staying in the shadows, holding the vial in your hand, thinking of protecting your boss like you promised. All that mattered was to make your boss the ultimate monster that could protect his family and home. Not even a hero could change that. <laughs>